Hey guys, it's Ra from Apple iPad TV. Today we have a review of the clear coat scratch protection for Apple iPad and later on in the video we will be testing the clear coat with a scratch test. So although there are many protection solutions available for the iPad, most of them hide the design of the device. But if you decided to keep your device naked with no form of protection at all, it would get scratched up. Because of this, Clearcoat has come up with the ideal solution. They use ultra thin high tech polymer skins that can be applied to your device to prevent scratches whilst also keeping the beauty of your device. They offer protection solutions for MP3 players, cell phones and laptops but today we're going to be focusing on their full body protection for the Apple iPad which is priced at $34.99 so in addition to the front and back protector of the full body kit you will also receive application solution, installation instructions and a rubber squeegee for removing excess moisture or any air bubbles after trying the likes of invisible shield and bodyguards we found that clear coat was the easiest to install there are no bubbles or any other imperfections on the clear coat itself and it looks as though there's no form of protection on the iPad. The full body kit consists of a screen protector, a back shield and several side pieces which protect the edges of your device. Unlike bodyguards or invisible shield these side pieces have remained intact and not peeled up or caught any dust or lint. So the time has now come to test the clear coat and see if it lives up to the expectation of keeping your device scratch proof. We're going to test the clear coat by scratching it with keys, screwdrivers and knives. So first off we're going to be trying this and see if it manages to damage the iPad underneath. Hopefully it will only scratch the film itself and the actual iPad will remain unscratched. So let's do it. I am applying a relatively good amount of force. I'm not trying to actually f damage it and stab the screen itself, but I'm just trying to scratch the actual coating and see if the clear coat lives up to its expectations. So if we hold this up, you can see that we do have some scratches on there, but it doesn't appear as though the key has done that much damage. So next up we have this screwdriver and hopefully it will do a bit more damage than the key. So it does appear as though there are a few hairline scratches, you can just about see them there but they're only light scratches and hopefully the iPad underneath will be scratch free. So our final test will involve using this very sharp knife. Uh, this has cut me several times and hopefully for this purpose it will not scratch the iPad and the clear coat will keep it protected. So I can already tell that there are a few deeper scratches in the clear coat already and it does provide a more stronger test than the key and the screwdriver. And, and as you can see there are several scratches on the screen itself but again hopefully the iPad will remain undamaged. So now the moment of truth we're going to peel off the front protection shield of the clear coat and see if the iPad screen is unscratched. And as you can see the screen is in perfect condition and on closer inspection there is no scratches on the screen whatsoever so the clear coat has in fact successfully protected 
the iPad screen from any scratches. So overall, Clearcoat is definitely our favourite clear protection film over the bodyguards and invisible shield. It's very easy to install, it covers virtually all of the device and it allows you to enjoy the wonderful design of the iPad. Obviously, Clearcoat does not provide drop protection, but because it's so thin, you can still use the iPad with a case. So if you're looking for invisible, scratch-proof protection for your Apple iPad, then look no further than Clearcoat. So thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video review. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe, and come back next time for more Apple iPad videos.